Hi, my name is John Casey and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your pest control company. Basically the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys show up in search results when people are searching online for pest control in Scottsdale. I know you service all areas in the Phoenix area, but I know that you'd like to be found when people are searching for pest control in Scottsdale. So I am looking at just two factors today that I want to run by you because I want to keep this video short. Before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for pest control. Okay, This is a tool from Google. And basically, it goes out and does a count of search terms by month and gives an average. And I, what I did is I went back 12 months from February of this year, how many people were searching for pest control in Scottsdale. Numbers are rounded up to the nearest 10. Uh, March was 170, 140, April 90, 90 170 again, 170 again, 140 down to 110 here in the winter months, down to 90 in February. But still, for the most cases, it's well over 100. That's a lot of people searching for pest control, okay? So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did is I went over here to Google, did a search for pest control in Scottsdale. This is page one right here. Let's see where I find you. You are right here on page four, okay? So again, I'm just going to cover two factors. These are two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings, okay? They obviously use more than two, but I keep this thing short. As I mentioned, I'm going to just, for today's purpose, look at these two and compare you to somebody on this page. And I want to see if there's any differences in those factors between you and someone over here. And if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about it to help you out and move you up in search rankings. I'm going to use Alliance Pest Management for comparison, okay? first factor I want to discuss today, something called citations. A citation is a listing for your business in a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing, okay? I'm going to give you an example. This website here actually goes out and finds directory sites. Here's one called findpestcontrol.net. So if Nature Zone Pest Control had a listing on findpestcontrol.net, name, address, phone number listing, that would be considered one citation, okay? Search engines like citations. The more the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Okay? Now, at the top of this page, we actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here and just tell me you have 54 citations. Alliance, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 196. A bit of a difference there. But the good news is you can quickly and easily get added to these directory sites. So this number 54, we can bump that up well over 100 in short order. <clears throat> and if we do that, you're definitely going to have a nice positive impact in search results. You definitely would move up, okay? And that's just with citations. Let's go talk about the second factor I'm going to run by you today. The second factor is called backlinks. Now backlinks are important. Backlink is a link from one website to your website, okay? As an example, if there was a website called pestcontrolsupplies.com and on their site they had a link to naturezonepestcontrol.com, that's considered one backlink for you, okay? Search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do, all right? Now, this website here actually does a count of the backlinks for your site, and the number we want to look at is unique. You have 18 unique active backlinks. Let's go look at Alliance. So they have 48, so there's a bit of a difference here. But the good news is we can add backlinks to your site. And I bet we only need to add about 10 or so to really give you a nice boost. Uh, the reason why is because the score is really low for these guys. It should be closer to 30%, um, high 20, low 30%. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. And it's based on how strong the website is it's linking to you. The better and stronger the website, the higher that score is going to be. So what that means to you is, since you already see you already have a 30% link score, if we just add 10 more links, keep them very good quality, like the ones you have, and keep the score right about where it is, that would be huge for you. You definitely would jump a lot in search rankings. All right? So citations and backlinks, the only two items we talked about today, but you can see that there are differences between you and someone on the other page of Google. But you're also finding out that there are steps we can take to eliminate those differences and mitigate them. And when we do, give you a nice boost in search rankings with just these two factors alone. All right. 
So I hope you found this was helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. Okay? So anyway, um, why don't you give me a call if you want to see how I can help you out or shoot me an email, and we can go from there. Have a great day. Bye.